Asian emerging market foreign exchange dropping before the Fed and the BOJ, both of those really in focus this week. Um, it, of course, this is very much a dollar story, increasingly strong data coming through from the United States when you look at retail sales or the jobs uh, story. The work function, though, on the Bloomberg, talking about a 45% chance of a rate hike by December. Yeah, I think if you just look at WCRS and you begin to see what state the emerging market currencies are in, you've got the ringgit obviously trading down for a number of weeks now, you've got the Indian rupee under pressure. The only the only moment of, uh, of reprieve, we have that interview, of course, from the Turkish Prime Minister. So we're just keeping an eye on the Turkish lira. Let's check out uh, how the live markets are performing. Caroline Hyde has some analysis for us from Berlin. Caroline. Yeah, very good morning to the both of you, Manus and Anna. And we are across the board seeing very flat trading when you're looking at the MXAP. The MSCI Asia Pacific, I've got it on my Bloomberg at the moment, digging into the individual movers. You can see it's basically flat when it comes to the overall index. But looking at the screen, you'll see on the downside, check out Nintendo. We are seeing it down some 17%, almost 18%, which is its limit for the day. Huge plunge in that stock after on Friday. We heard that the financial impact of the worldwide craze that is Pokemon Go is limited, so says Nintendo. Doesn't expect to revise its annual forecast anywhere higher. So as we'll see across the board, some really big movers. Nintendo down some 17%, but generally flat, cautious trading in stocks ahead of not only the Federal Reserve this week, but also the Bank of Japan. Such big bets for stimulus on the BOJ. We haven't seen more hope to Corona since his very first meeting back in 2013. So many analysts overall expecting some sort of stimulus coming from the Bank of Japan. And it's creeping higher for the United States as well. You were just talking about the work function. That's the interest rate probability. Have a look out on my screen. We are starting to see a pickup in bets of a rate hike come from the United States. This is the bet that we'll see rates climb up to 0.5% by the end of 2016. The bets are now climbing up to 40 5% for a rate hike by December. As you'll see, we're gathering pace up to almost where we were pre-Brexit levels. So we are starting to see more assumptions that potentially the world, the economy in the United States is strong enough to withstand yet another rate hike and indeed perhaps not send shockwaves throughout the rest of the world. We've been hearing from the G20 concerns about the anti-globalization viewpoints coming from the overall market but one last chart for you before you go and it's got to be about commodities it's got to be about oil because we're seeing it trade flat today but what money we've seen coming out of wti crude in particular united states we're seeing oil in the blue as you'll see the chart wti crude inching yet further lower below the 450 dollar mark we're currently at 44.16 this as we see the Pika Hughes chart in white, the pickup in rig count, we're now at 371. That supply got not gonna, going to get any better if we're seeing an add-on, an addition to rigs. With that, I'll hand things back to you. It's been a somber time here in Germany, but it doesn't seem to be affecting appetite to buy into stocks all that much today. Caroline, thank you very much, Caroline, either with the latest on the markets in Germany. Let's get out to you, so Gamal El Din, he joins us now.